Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Galileo Sky. In our previous video, we set checking of speed limits in different geofences. In this video, we'll show how to add time limit to these checks. Let's presume we need to inform the dispatcher about the speed violations, but only if the speed is exceeded in 10 consecutive seconds and not earlier. How do we do that? In some cases, condition with timeout can be used. This action looks like regular condition, but has an extra timeout field. The difference from the regular condition is that regular one is checked immediately when the algorithm enters the block. Condition with timeout allows to set a time period, during which the condition is checked to be true. Once it's true, the condition immediately follows the true branch, ignoring the timeout. If it's false, Tracker will wait during the set time period for the condition to become true, and only if it's false during the required time limit, it will follow the false branch. However, in this task this block is not the best choice, since during these 10 seconds the driver can exit the geofence he is inside currently and enter a zone with higher speed limit. What can we do in that case? We'll use counters, custom variables that are used to count something usually for condition timing. Let's introduce the count variable in the beginning of the algorithm and null it. We need the violation to last 10 seconds or more, so we set a condition that count is more or equal to 10. For false branch, we add mathematics block that we previously used in the driver identification algorithm. In this example, we'll simply use the addition operation. We write into count variable the result of adding 1 to its current value, or simply talking, we increase the count value by 1. After that, we go back to the beginning to 1 second delay, which basically is the reason we add 1 to our counter. Now, in case of any violation, the tracker will repeat the circle 10 times and on 11th will activate the reaction. Counters are often used to accumulate data inside the algorithm and are much more effective than long delays, since they check if the condition is still true on each count. In our next video, we will show you how to send custom data to the monitoring software.